Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Windows 10 introduces the new Universal App Window. This window is like a modified version of the modern app windows introduced in Windows 8, combined with the title bars from the older desktop style windows. This lesson will discuss the new Universal App Windows and the navigation features that you will often encounter within them. Universal App Windows will adjust themselves to best fit your device and its environment. For example, if you open a Universal App Window from the desktop, it will appear as a restore-sized window within the desktop with its own title bar. If you open a Universal App Window in tablet mode, it will appear as a full screen window and its title bar will only appear if you hover your mouse over it. Within a Universal App Window, you will find common navigation structures that allow you to use the app. This lesson will discuss these navigation structures and show you how to use them. You can open the Weather app from the Start menu or Start screen to see a common example of a Universal app in Windows 10. At the very top of the app window, you will find a title bar when in the desktop mode, and it will also appear if you mouse over the top of the app window when in tablet mode. At the right end of the title bar are three buttons, Minimize, Maximize or Restore, and Close. You can click the Close button, which looks like an X, to close the app window. The Minimize and Maximize or Restore buttons are used to change the size of the window when using the desktop mode. They do not do anything when you are in tablet mode. Most universal apps make use of a collapsible and expandable navigation pane that appears at the left side of the universal app window. You can most often click the navigation pane button, called the nav pane button, in the upper left corner of the navigation pane to expand the navigation pane and show its menu commands. You can also click the same button to collapse the nav pane. When the nav pane is collapsed, you will only see the icons for the commands instead. You can click the buttons in the nav pane to open the different sections of the app. These will vary depending upon the app. However, the settings button is a commonly used button that is shown in the lower left corner and which looks like a cog. You can click the settings button to display the settings for the universal app within the universal app window. Once again, the settings that are available will vary depending on the app. Many times after clicking a button within the nav pane to display a section within the app, you will also see a back arrow button appear towards the upper left corner of the app window. This button appears in a bar below the title bar that is called the command bar. You can often click the back arrow button to return to the previous section within the app. Within a universal app window, the command bar appears across the top of the app underneath the title bar if shown. The command bar will most often contain the actions that you can perform within the current section of the app. However, they can also be used to open different sections of an app too, much like the navigation pane. You will find the most used actions within an app contained in the command bar. If there are more actions than can be displayed in a window, you will often see a More button, which looks like an ellipsis mark, shown at the right end of the command bar. You can click the More button if shown to access more actions from the command bar in a drop-down menu that appears. If there are no more actions available, then clicking this button will simply show the names of the actions contained in the command bar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free